Hello, friends. Welcome back again. This is Practical IT. And on this one, we're going to be just discussing a little bit more about like the JSX. So we are in a position to discuss about the JSX because we have been working with it at least for a while. So let's take a look on what is going on over here. So on the uh, class component that we are going to be just discussing, and by the way, regarding the JSX, what the discussion that we're going to be having right now is going to be applicable for the functional components as well. So over here on the render part, we're going to be just taking a look on some kind of like a, a code that pretty much looks like that of the HTML. But basically we should never forget that JSX is more closer to the JavaScript than to the HTML. And had it been for the JavaScript, then if we tried to write this thing, it wouldn't compile at all because this is relatively old in the terms of like the JavaScript. But with JSX, with JavaScript XML, then this is possible. So there are a couple of things that we can do with the JSX. The first one is it's going to give us uh, this luxury of using the HTML tags inside the JavaScript. And the look is going to be exactly what we are going to be just uh, expecting or what we are going to be just having it on this one. And remember, the uh, component is going to be binding both the logic on how the, the um, output is going to be just rendered along with the data. And un under the render, uh, on the case of like the, uh, the uh, application, uh, sorry, like in the uh, class component, whatever we are having on the render is going to be just taken out and then being rendered by the uh, a browser. And the data is going to be just coming from the logic that we are having on this one. Whether we're getting it, like the data, sometimes we can get it from the service, we can get it from the props, uh, or we can get it, or we can even create it on our own. But there are a couple of things that we can do using the JSX when we have that one. The very first thing is just keep in mind that uh, every time we want to utilize the any kind of expression. Uh, we want to have like the variable inside it or call a function or any simple math expression, then we should have it embedded with that of like the squiggly brackets left and right. So for the sake of just uh, playing with it, let me have like one more uh, stuff. Let me call it just simply data and equals, uh, remember like I'm, I'm allowed to do this one because I'm inside still the class and this is going to be considered as internal variable. So I'm going to, let's say USA and uh, official name, the United States of America. And probably let's have one more capital. And we're going to say uh, Washington DC. All right, so we have this thing and then let's say I want to display the capital of the USA and we all we have to do would be just I can have it a little bit outside of here or for the sake of just making it easier I'm going to get rid of like the, the anchor over here. So it's going to be just much more easier to work with and maybe I can have like another paragraph and we don't need this and I'm going to have it over here. So if I am going to be uh, adding, let's say just wanted to show like the, the capital, then all I have to do would be just to have like the squiggly bracket, this, that data, that USA, that capital. And if I go back to the uh, part that we're having here, then I'm parent Washington DC, just probably I can have it on its own or I can add, uh, one and for this let me add it so all. all right so if we do that then we can see like I'm parent in Washington DC are going to be just here on that one so this is pretty much like the very first thing every time that we want to do that one do the uh, uh, to show like the variable then we should be able to have it under this quickly bracket and the other thing is any kind of JavaScript expression that you know you can have it under the um, squiggly bracket as well. So let's say on this one, I'm going to have like another paragraph as well. Um, if I wanted to multiply, let's say five by eight, and you're going to see that 
the result is going to be just 40 over here because it does uh, it does understand the expression of like the mathematical expression over here and then it's going to show me. Uh, also, you can use any of like your built-in or user-defined functions inside this one as well. So for example, if I want to capitalize like practical IT, then all I have to do would be just practical IT that to uppercase, right? So this one is like a built-in JavaScript function and it's going to be just, it says like 40 uh, practical IT. So this one, as you can see, is going to be just in between. Uh, this is going to be just the expression that we had from the previous one. And this is going to be just the expression that we're having uh, over here. And also you can also use any of like your math or any of like the, the expression that you are having. So if we have like math that random and maybe I can multiply it by 12, uh, and if I do that, then you can see that whatever the uh, the random value that I'm having is going to be just reloaded in the short uh, over here. So in short, anything that you can uh, think of in JavaScript, you can have it as a part of the JSX as long as you are having it in squiggly brackets. So this is just one thing to do that one. And the other one is as we have seen, any of like the local variables, including the state can be accepted in such a way without having any problem. Um, the other thing I just I want to mention is it remains the same whenever you are going to be um, using like as, as a parameter, like as a, as a um, when you want to pass, for example, as a message over here um, for the next one, uh, it is much easier just to show it with an example. So let me do this one. So let's say for the message, we were using the uh, hard-coded value, right? Like for the props, but I wanted to pass like, let's say the uh, cap, the official name of like the US. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like inside this quickly bracket. And then I'm going to say this to data that USA that off shell, or let me just say it like that. Yeah, you can say like the off shell now. And if I go back to this one, then you can see that the United States of America has been passed from the parent to the child. Remember like this one is like the child that we're having. So you can use these quickly brackets uh, to pass the values to your child as well without having any uh, problem. So as you can see, as long as you're having uh, that data to be passed around, which is going to be or to be uh, shown uh, in squiggly bracket, then everything should be fine. 